So, look at the sky. It's another rainy day. You know, I was checking the forecast for the next week. It's going to be rain, 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 rain. It's depressing this weather. I still need to do some bunch of work. I still have to get those things done. And yeah, just there at the apartment, I know already I won't get anything done, especially with this weather. I don't know why I cannot work. So I will be just going to a coffee shop to have some work done and let's see what else to do later on. Let me show you. <laughs> Bohol forecast. Rain, 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 rain. Oh my god. I'm just checking on the assignments and the working on the new classes for next week. Take a look at this picture. Don't I look like a legit professor? I know, right? Anyway, back to work. Oh, look at this. The sun is out. Okay, I need to get my lunch still. Even if the menu there at the coffee shop is very inviting, but as I told you before, I'm trying to cook more at home and trying to make healthier choices for my diet. So I'm looking uh, for something uh, suitable for my diet. I want something fresh, something healthy. I'm going to look here at the local market. here I start going to the local market more often than uh, the regular stores because first of all the things are fresher here and way cheaper I also have the luck that I have uh, this uh, open market here very near to where I live plus unlike in the mall I don't need to queue too long so that's a really big advantage so here we are the Dao market Juan, la to saba. So I got some lato. I'm going to prepare a salad with this. So I'm done with my grocery there. Total expenses. 48 pesos and I'm not even going to use everything now let's go home and eat because I'm kind of hungry right now so it looks it's going to be another uh, cooking vlog today no it's not really a cooking vlog because there's barely any cooking to do here anyway for the people that doesn't know what uh, lato is uh, it's a seaweed look at this or they also call it um, sea grapes or some people they could even call it like green caviar or sea caviar. Of course, it's an edible seaweed. I love this stuff, man, it's so fresh. 
And this thing is so cheap. One full bowl like this, 20 pesos. Last year I was working in Switzerland in a very luxury hotel and I was in the kitchen and we had like the foie gras served with this lato. Coming from the Philippines, we just use it as a garnish. And I remember like a little box like this, it was about $90, something like this, 90, close to $100 I remember, it was super expensive. But here it's abundant everywhere and it's fresher. True story, beautiful tomatoes. I'm gonna dice that. Up it goes in my salad. Initially, I was going to use the red onions, but I saw this uh, spring onion. It's a little bit more delicate, probably. I think it will suit it better. Nice and fine. Now, some sukan putti, nice. That's white vinegar. And then I like to put this, I love this stuff. Pinakurat, it's a coconut vinegar. And they season it with, I guess, onions, garlic, some chili for sure, because it's spicy. I oh, yeah, chilies, garlic, onions, ginger. So it has everything in it. So good, man. A little bit. Just a little pinch of salt. It doesn't really need much salt because it's kind of salty naturally. And that's it. See you in the salad. That easy, that fast. Oh, look at this beauty. Mmm. Those things, those grapes here, they kind of pop in your mouth. Okay guys, let me know what do you think about this. I mean, it's a salad, you can put anything in it, especially on your vinaigrette, how do you season this? I know some people like to put sugar for me, it's not necessary. Some people like to put ginger or extra chili. I know it's not for everyone. Man, it's so good. Give it a like, see you tomorrow.